Adventurers, welcome to adventure number four and our final story for the week. This is a little bit longer of a story, but prepare to get a little wild. So settle in and get ready for our story. Nine Lessons by John Agee. Lion Lessons. Seven easy steps. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know. I took lessons. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said. But first, we must stretch. We did the upward lion, the downward lion, the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and we shook our manes. Step one was looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bear your claws, you gash your teeth, and show your fangs. I tried out my three most frightening poses. The lion wasn't impressed. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Needs work, said the lion. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. The, are there any specials? I asked. You know, like spaghetti? The lion growled. We don't eat spaghetti. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion. I can still see it. Step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. You mean that little one here? No, said the lion. That big one on that far away hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said the lion. Step six was pouncing. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start, and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death. Oh, uh, that's the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start. And I pounced. What a cute little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, yeah, I said. The lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Step seven was looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. That's easy, I said. Friend. What about that dog? I let out a ferocious roar. Roar! I bared my claws, I gashed my teeth, I pawed the ground, I shook my mane, and then I sprinted across the field as fast as I could and pounce, exactly like a, well, you know, lion. Bravo, said the lion. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. But now all the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. The end. In today's story, we learned the seven steps to become a lion. Today for our activity, we are gonna create a lion mask. So you need your popsicle stick and your paper plate. I already colored the outsides of mine with brown and yellow to make it look like my lion mane. You also are going to need scissors and some tape. I'm using my washi tape from my Community Helpers Week. So like I said, I already colored the outside of my paper plate with brown and yellow to look like a lion mane. But now I have to cut out the center so I have a space for my face. And to do that, I'm just going to pinch my plate and snip it. That way, I can cut all around.
just like that. So now I've got a space for my face, for my lion mask. Now I can take my popsicle stick and tape it, excuse me, onto the back so I have a place to hold it. Just like that. Now you can leave your mask like this or if you'd like to add a little more to it, you can cut some fringes along the outside. Just like that. Now, boys and girls, don't forget to share your best lion mask selfie with us on Facebook. I can't wait to see them.